Hello, Quinn back here. So finally there it is. I've listened to your voice. I want to make my videos a bit more accurate. That's why we begin with uh, CoinPure's video maybe series. Uh, Prince coin purses, we will open those, we will open 500 of them. Assuming that I have no larceny proficiency, so I need 5000 labor to open 500 of them, we will see how much money I make just from opening them and how much money I make after selling items that uh, drop from coin purses uh, in addition to silver. So yeah, please stay around and let's begin. For gathering I've used battle mage builds that I've presented in my previous video but in this case I'm using a much better gear score and weapon. So it turns out that uh, this build allows me to farm more than 300 coin purses per 30 minutes which means that this is 600 coin purses per hour. So it took me less than an hour to gather up enough coin purses to burn my 5000 labor pool. So build and combinations of skills, passives and details about the mechanics of it are presented in my previous videos if you want to just go back and check it out yourself. And we are back, coin purses are opened, we've got 109 gold from them, it turns out that well silver per labor just from coin purses is really poor, it's slightly above 2 silver per labor right now, so we need to sell the, those items to increase our profit here. Valuable items that dropped from this coin purse were Mystical Garden Powder, that's really really expensive right now on the market since a bit. Uh, we have some Luna Drops that I'm salvaging into Lunarite. We've got few Lunarites that will sell really well and we've got uh, Arcune Sapling and Braziers in good numbers which aren't selling so good on the auction house or at, with so, so good price, so I'm just going to vendor them instead and get almost the same amount of money. So I've sorted out those items, sold them to vendors, some of them went on the auction house and turns out that I've made 308 gold. So uh, assuming that you have no larceny proficiency, this will give you 6 silver per labor point spent. And my calculation doesn't include costs that I've made here, I've had to use some uh, buffs and some of those recovery potions or food. So, well, in my case it wasn't so drastic because I was using Scepter to regenerate mana, Scepter from G.A.J. and Dungeon, and I was using a uh, Garden Weapon to heal myself a bit, so yeah, I didn't use so much, but you might use more than me, so you need to remember that this is also uh, not free item for you, you need to pay for it, you need to use it here first to make this profit. I also calculated how this looks like for someone with high larceny proficiency, in my case Maestro level 5. Just from money that I received from coin purses I would get around 3 silver per labor point spent and if I include items that I vendored or sold on the auction house this would be almost 8 silver per labor. But you need to remember that at this point there is an event going on and we have double uh, loot chance increase. It's hard to say if I was lucky with my drops or they were increased and coin purses are affected by double, double loot events. So feel free to double check me when this loot event is over. Maybe you did the math earlier before this event launched and we could compare our results. And that's, that's it from me guys, if you liked the video please hit the like button, comment or subscribe, see you later.